Well, I don't give a goddamn. It's just going to tell us like it's the Toy Man or some shit. Yeah, I don't probably. remember. I, d- <laughs> I do remember. I just like, oh, God, what was I thinking? <laughs> what was I going to say? I don't know. What were you going to say? Is it going? It is going. Oh, we're okay. doing it now. You didn't yeah. tell me. Yeah, I know. But I was going to. And I did. Eventually. We can do take two. Sure. Yes, unique New York. Unique New York. Do you want me to try to say that? Oh, no. That is not what I... That's just like a vocal exercise. Unique just to warm up. New York. Unique New York. You know you need unique New York. Ugh. I can't. I can't even, I can't even like listen to you. Yeah, it's that's fair. Anywho, I guess I should start now. Yeah, I'm sorry. You should do it. I mean, it doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be the worst intro we've ever done. It's fine. It's it's fine. Welcome back. Oh, there we go. Hello, and welcome back to Chicken and Raffles' Choose Your Own Adventure Adventures. Adventures with friends. I am Chicken and Raffles. And I'm Jessica. And hello, and uh, I guess it bears mentioning, Mm this will be the one time, yeah, we'll say it, this is our first post-quarantine episode, hooray, Mm this will be our one mention of it, because we're going to venture into the world of Superheroes Which Way book number one, Superman, The Man of Steel, Mm -hmm. by Andrew (laughs) Helfer. I'm not going to do a second read of that, but it's Andrew Helfer, illustrated by Jose Delbo. So, (laughs) Superman is, uh, you know, he is, uh, Jessica. He is number one. (laughs) I was going to say, uh, tell me, what are, what are Superman's, uh, give me some stats. What do you Uh, know about Superman, the man of steel? He's white. Okay, fair enough. Yep. He's like, what, six foot at least? Sure. Solid six foot, yeah. probably. 220. He's an alien. Yes. From space. Crypt. Ton. Uh, ton. Yep. Is it called Krypton? It's Krypton, yeah. But how is, but their weakness is Krypt- Kryptonite. Kryptonite. Yeah. The thing that comes from home makes you weaker. Yeah. Sure, anyway. I don't know. His planet or something, the civilization was going to get knocked out by a bad guy, you know. It exploded. I think oh, it was because okay. of Brainulo or... Uh... His parents did something wrong or... <laughs> they, they slighted couldn't, God. Like, of course. help the world, but they gave Global their warming. own son to Earth. Yeah. He crashed down in Earth, and then there's a show called Smallville uh-huh. that is his whole growing up, basically adolescence. It's a beautiful summer morning as Superman, the Man of Steel, soars high over the busy streets of Metropolis. Superman is on patrol, but it has been a quiet, uneventful day. Oh, that's a shame. People in the streets below see Superman flying overhead. They wave happily knowing that they are safe from danger, for they are protected by Earth's mightiest mortal. Uh, what? I thought he was immortal. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, okay, it's it's fine. We're dumb. It's mm-hmm. cool. Well, it doesn't seem as if Metropolis is in any trouble today, Superman thinks. Uh, there's not a thing to worry about here. Maybe I'll patrol some other cities, or perhaps I'll check on the Daily Planet. If Where Superman- I work. Yeah, I'll just go to my job. Uh, (laughs) if Superman decides to change into Clark Kent and stop by the Daily Planet, continue on to page three. If Superman decides to fly toward another city, Pittsburgh, I guess, uh, turn to page four. Why would he even need to leave? He just said that he wanted to go to work. I mean, he thought about it. He thought about both things. What's in Philadelphia? What do you want to do? (laughs) <laughs> it's just so random it just says a random city oh it doesn't say <laughs> that was just me. oh that was you that was a goof mm. gosh well if i was superman and this was my adventure which uh-huh. it is yeah i'm choosing this we're going to work all right cool uh <laughs> 
<laughs> Superman flies down into an empty alleyway. There he changes into Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter. Within moments, Clark stands at the entrance to the Daily Planet newsroom. In front of him, busy reporters, editors, copy boys, and secretaries dash across a noisy, crowded office. Clark! A woman shouts as she runs towards the reporter. Perry White wants to see you in his office, pronto. I wouldn't want to keep my, the boss waiting, Clark answers. I'm on my way. Turn to page seven. Cool. What was his name? Perry something? Perry White. That's your boss. Okay. Uh, Clark walks briskly to Perry's office, but is stopped by Lois Lane, the planet's top reporter. The beautiful brown-eyed journalist looks excited. Uh, Clark, she says breathlessly, <laughs> you simply must come over to my office. One of my fans has just sent me the most wonderful gift. It's got to be seen to be believed. Well, Lois, Clark says, I'd love to, but you see, Perry <laughs> wants to see me. Oh, Clark, Lewis insists. I'll only take a minute. If he, oh, you want to um, go look at the gift, or do you want to go to your boss's office? <laughs> let's ignore Lois. Oh, good call. That's what a good reporter would do. <laughs> Clark, I want you to see this. Editor Chief Perry, editor in chief Perry White says as Clark Kent steps into his office. On the television screen, Master Criminal Lex Luthor is about to speak. Greeting, Superman, Luther says. For months I've been working on my latest invention, an ion beam death ray capable of destroying an entire city of Metropolis in seconds. And destroy it I shall, Superman, unless you agree to come to the place where we first met. Farewell, man of steel. I wait your arrival. Clark, Perry says as Luther image fades from the screen. Luther met Superman in Smallville. I want you to cover the story from there. Perhaps Luther is planning a trap for Superman, Clark thinks, as he leaves Perry's office. Why would he not just say me? Yeah. Trap for me. He Maybe Clark does. Kent should find out what Luther is up to. Because he thinks of himself in the third person. What a goddamn weirdo. He's a separate person from himself. Okay. If Superman confronts Luther in Smallville, continue on to page nine. If he investigates Luther's plan first as Clark Kent, turn to page 20. If you want to learn more about Luther, check the f fortress Oops. file on page 117. That's just if you don't know who he is. Uh, you know who so he not is. like a real choice. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a bullshit choice. choice. So... Smallville as Superman or Smallville as Clark Kent, I guess, are your choices. Let's stay undercover. Okay. Let's go Clark Kent. Yeah, let's not be rash about this. Over on page 20. Let's, let's go. Let's see here. Now. Within minutes, Clark Kent is walking through the streets of Smallville. After flying to the small wooden... <laughs> <laughs> Within minutes, Clark Kent is walking through the streets of Smallville after flying to the small Midwestern town as Superman. Clark walks onto the outskirts of town. The point. <laughs> if you're gonna go there as as, as Superman, Clark, why not just be Superman to, already? Why, it doesn't matter. Get yourself a car. Clark walks to the outskirts of town to the laboratory once used by Lex Luthor. Clark stands outside the open door. Uh, hello, he asks. Is is anybody home? Getting no answer, Clark decides to go inside, but as soon as he steps through the doorway, he is hit on the head. I'd better fake getting knocked out, Clark thinks, mm -mm. or whoever hit me may become awfully suspicious. Clark slumps to the floor. It's like they know me. <laughs> Turn to page 11. Uh, that's not a choice. Uh, <laughs> uh, this is a great picture of Clark Kent just not tied up in a chair, just in a chair. Lex Luthor was like, ha ha, the dim-witted reporter Clark Kent, he surely won't escape this chair. It's got a glue <laughs> trap on it. No, just nothing, just no. a chair. It's quite comfortable, you see. <laughs> mm -hmm. Clark feels himself being lifted up and placed into a chair. Slowly, he opens his eyes. Like ah, that. Mr. Kent, I'm glad that you're awake, the evil mastermind named Lex Luthor says. I am named Lex Luthor. And I want you to stay right here so you can tell the readers of the Daily Planet how well Superman follows my every command. My name is Lex Luthor. 
But this, but his time is running out. Wait, no, what? that still likes Luther. But his time is running out. Luther <laughs> t- chuckles. <laughs> if he doesn't arrive soon, you shall have no readers left in Metropolis. Clark knows he has to think quickly. Uh, oh, if he tries to escape, the chair. Turn to page fourteen. If Clark knocks Luther out and changes into Superman, wait. If he just knocks him out. Okay, go to... Wait. What? <laughs> Sorry. Your choices are try to escape uh, or punch Lex Luthor in the face. What does the image look like? I need to look at it. Here, it's you, him sitting in a chair. He he looks very punchable. I would punch him. I would punch him. You would punch Superman? No, 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 no. I would punch Lex Luthor. Look at him. He looks like a dingus. Well, he looks kind of cool. No, he doesn't. He looks like a real No, super he's got like a winged collar. Guy. He looks like a douche. Like, okay, well, do you want well, to escape? Um, like, your options are twofold. <laughs> no one can see you roll your eyes. Mm-hmm. <laughs> what are the choices? Again, please. Okay. If Clark tries to escape, turn to page 14. If Clark knocks Luther out and changes into Superman... The book really wants me to be a man, doesn't it? I don't know what the book wants. I never do. I thought I knew six books ago. I was like, I have the formula down. I know when I'm going to get tricked. And then the books kept not making any sense. So okay, I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Let's punch the guy. Oh, cool. Yeah. Even though he looks like a wimp in the photo. That's why you would punch him. Okay, page 103. Ooh, boy. I'm going to keep that page open. <laughs> oh, God. Don't uh, take that as anything serious. Okay, cool. Uh, punch him it is. Let's go to page 103. Perhaps a little heat vision will do the trick. Wait. What? I thought, I thought he was going to knock him out. Perhaps a little heat vision will do the trick. Clark thinks as he as he severs the wires holding a lamp above Luther's head, the lamp no- drops on the bald scientist's head, knocking him out. Moments later, when Luther awakens, he is staring at the red, blue, and yellow costume of Superman. Okay, Lex says, "Superman, fun time is over." You fool! Lex shouts in in terror. When you injured me, my computer automatically set off the death ray. Metropolis has already been destroyed. Using his telescopic vision, Superman sees that Lex is telling the truth. The end. Metropolis has been destroyed by the ionic super beam death beam cannon. That we never knew about, but I guess we knew about it like a page ago. Him, we probably would have known. So you want to try to escape instead, or you want to do like a different thing? Let's go back. You this all knock- happened because I ignored Lo- Lois. Oh, so let's the pay Lois attention choice. To her. Okay, so we went to work. Yeah. And then we went to page seven. Okay. Uh, if you take She's a look catalyst. at Lois' gift. Okay, we're going to go look at the birthday gift. <laughs> birthday? Okay. The, <laughs> I know. I can't talk. Thank you. <laughs> no one would have noticed. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm going to go look at your gift now. <laughs> Soon the two are outside Lois's office. Lois swings open the door. Ta-da! She shouts as she ushers Clark in the inside. Into the inside. The small office is almost totally filled up by an enormous cuckoo clock resting on the floor of the room. Ticking softly, the six-foot wide, six-foot wide wooden <laughs> clock is a truly awesome sight. It's uh, beautiful, Lois, Clark says uncertainly. What? Who sent it to you? There is no card, Lois answers. Hang on a moment, Clark. The clock is about to chime. Turn to page 54, okay? Okay. Uh, At the strike of one, the enormous cuckoo clock begins to chime. Slowly, the huge door above the dial creaks open. Inside, all is black, except for a pair of shining green eyes peering out. Suddenly, a huge robot bird shoots out of the doorway. It hovers over the room for a moment as if searching out its prey, then swoops down, grabs Lois with its sharp metal claws, and wow. streaks out the window. Great Krypton, Clark thinks. I've <laughs> got to save Lois, but the clock is still ticking. It might be a bomb. 
<laughs> if Clark switches to Superman and goes after Lois, classic Superman, go to page 55. If Clark examines the clock to see if it's a bomb, pa- turn to page 57. It's all about Lois, babe. Okay, let's go after Lois. In seconds, Clark changes into Superman and is off. Soon, he is caught up with the giant metal bird creature, with Lois struggling in its claws. Superman! She says when she spies the blue, red, yellow (laughs) costume. Thank heaven you showed up! Hang on, Lois, Superman answers. I have this cagey bird caged again in a second. At that moment, the metal bird turns towards its adversary, opens its eyes, and two green rays stream out. Kryptonite, Superman thinks. Its eyes are made of kryptonite, making me weak. I've got to get away. Stunned by the lethal rays, the man of steel plummets to earth. Turn to page 56. It's not a choice. (laughs) Down, down, the man of tomorrow falls toward the city below. Superman's strength begins to return mere seconds before crashing into the heart of Midtown Metropolis. And once again, he is aloft. Suddenly, the sound of an explosion fills the air. Mm. Oh boy. And Superman quickly turns in the direction of the noise. Clouds of black smoke mm-hmm. billow out of Lois Lane's office at the Daily Planet oh building. God. Great Krypton, Superman thinks. The clock <laughs> was a bomb. I only hope that no one was hurt. Uh-huh. In a flash, Superman is in Lois' smoke-filled office. <laughs> we're, we're all right, Superman. A photographer, Jimmy... Oh, photographer Jimmy Olsen says... <laughs> But this office is a mess. I guess the only thing to do is clean up. (laughs) Want to help? If Superman decides to help clean up, turn to page 58. If Superman decides to go after Lois again, turn to page 59. Ignore him. Oh my god, yes. Go to Lois. (laughs) Save her. 59. It's like 69. Good call. Sorry, Jimmy. Superman answers. You suck. And you can fucking clean this mess up by yourself. You, because you suck. I was gonna let you finish drinking that. Thank you. You'll have to do that yourself. I've got to save Lois. She's in real trouble. <laughs> the Man of Steel scans the sky, but the mechanical bird has captive have escaped. Hmm. Superman thinks. I know that Lois was working on a dangerous assignment to expose a certain dishonest toy manufacturer. Whoever kidnapped her might not want her story to appear. Perhaps I should use my telescopic vision to consult the fact file at the Fortress of Solitude. It might help me figure out which villain is behind all this. Okay. What? You can look at Superman's Fortress (laughs) file by turning to page 117, then turn to page 60. Well, I don't give a goddamn. It's just going to tell us like it's the Toy Man or some shit. I don't give a fuck about Superman's bad guys. Let's just go to the second part. Superman stands outside an old toy factory on the outskirts of Metropolis. Over the huge wooden door is a sign that reads, Toy Meister Toys, home of the Superman fun line. The oh door God. is ajar, so Superman enters. Because everyone's just breaking and entering in this world. Inside, people are working busily, putting the finishing touches on the newest Toy Meister toy. They are so occupied with their work that they do not notice the Man of Steel, even though he's fucking Superman. Near Superman, three workers tip over a huge (laughs) vat of molten lead, carefully pouring the liquid metal into tiny molds. I thought they literally just meant they just tipped it over. Superman decides to take a closer look at the toys that the workers are making. Three guys got covered in molten. Yeah, I was just like, oh my god, this factory sucks. It just killed those three workers. Superman decides to take a closer look at the toys that the workers are making. They are little Superman dolls. Ah, Superman, a voice suddenly calls out. I'm so glad you've come. Superman turns to confront the voice. It's the Toy Man! Okay, I thought he was literally just called Toy Meister. But he's Toy Man. God, I hate Superman. Uh, If Superman attempts to capture the Toy Man, turn to page 62... If he waits for the toy man to make the next move, turn to page 63. I don't know. You could probably chance it. It's the toy man. I don't know. Do what you want, bird. Do you want to get him now or wait for him to do a thing? Let's see what his special attack is. Okay, cool. Page 63. This is going pretty well, I think. (laughs) 
<laughs> Superman watches as the toy man turns a dial on the radio controller in his hand. Suddenly, the mini Superman dolls on the factory table stand up and begin to fly at Superman. Oh, no. Gross. Fucking living dolls. I hate it. Even at a distance, Superman can see their green kryptonite eyes flickering menacingly. Thinking quickly, Superman reaches for the huge vat of lead next to him. He lifts mm-hmm. it over his head and tosses its contents at the My pack God. of rapidly approaching deadly dolls. The molten lead covers the pack of dolls, stopping them in their tracks. As one, they fall onto the floor in a bubbling heap. The lead should shield me from their kryptonite eyes, Superman thinks. <laughs> And now, I better get to the Toy Man. Why does everyone fucking have kryptonite? Like, how much of that made it to fucking Earth that every villain has just, like, a ton of it? Sorry. It's so stupid. Because that's his one weakness, you know? Yeah. But the villain has vanished. Near where he stood are two hallways. One is dark and silent. From the other, Superman hears the voice of Jimmy Olsen calling for help. If Superman rescues Jimmy, turn to page 83. No, (laughs) it's fine. If Superman enters the other hall to search for Lois, turn to page 109. It's not about his boyfriend. Yeah, Jimmy Olsen can stink it. 109, here we go. Lois! Oh my god, Superman! (laughs) (laughs) That's not actually what I read. Uh, here we go. Superman runs down the unlit corridor, and uh, he hears someone in the darkness running toward him. In the dim light, he can hardly see it, who it is. Superman! A strangely familiar voice says, I- Is that you? And then from out of the shadows walks none other than Clark Kent. <gasps> but, but, I'm Clark Kent, Superman thinks, because he's a fucking idiot. God damn it, I hate Superman. This has got to be another of the Toy Man's robots. The Clark Kent robot is out of breath because he has to breathe. I'm glad I found you. It puffs. I know where Lois is. If Superman listens to the Clark robot, turn to page 82. If Superman destroys the robot and goes after (laughs) Lois, go to page 87. Oh my God. What is going on? I don't know, man. I say I kill like, the robot. I feel like they just didn't know what to do next. They were like, no, they love the Toy Man because he's such a good villain. <laughs> like, so this this robot is belongs to the villain. Yeah, and he made a bunch of clones of Superman so he could, I don't know, sleep with him at night or just like, like be around toy him. battle? Yeah. I fitted all of these Superman dolls with kryptonite eyes. And, and, but then he was like, I'm out of breath and I'm a robot. Right. Also, I made them physically accurate to the point yeah, of needing yeah. breath. And I don't know. It's crazy. Let's kill him. Yay. 87. Here we go. <laughs> All right. Uh, What's going to happen? What is going to happen? <laughs> With a burst of heat vision, Superman destroys the robot and runs down the hall. Why is he running everywhere, by the way? He can fly. To the next room. There he sees two lead-lined doors with video screens above each. The screens show images of two lowest lanes. A vanishing Uh ray is focused on each figure. What's a vanishing ray? Suddenly, the voice of the toy man (laughs) is heard. I'm very proud! I'm changing the voice every time. I don't know. I'm very proud of my robot, Superman! So proud! I'm willing to bet that without your x-ray vision, you can't tell the difference between the real Lois and the Lois bot. As soon as, as... Yeah, fuck it. As soon as you open the door, both rays will fire. You will only have time to save one of them. Decide which is Lois uh. now. Superman looks closely at the two video images. On the screen above the first door, Lois's green eyes flash defiantly. Uh. On the screen above the second, Lois stands bravely, and her eye color is not uh, worth is mentioning. Uh, suddenly, Superman's choice is clear. Does <laughs> oh, it really say that? No. It just says, Lo- on the other screen, she stands bravely, and it doesn't mention her eye color. So, I guess the one that isn't the green eyes, probably? I don't know. I'm, I'm fine either way. Green eyes are br- stands bravely. Those are your options. Well, 
Either we can Ooh, choose... uh in Big Trouble in Little China, they were looking for the girl with the gray with the general with the <laughs> with the with the milky jade eyes. So we could do that. <laughs> There it is. The gem rolled. <laughs> the jade rolled. Oh man, that's the clip. That one's the uh that's the highlight reel. So what's your choice? This is it, bird. So This is where we gonna I feel die like this is it probably. If we choose the one with the creamy jam rolled eyes. <laughs> uh-huh. What's gonna happen? We're gonna we die. die. Probably. So we... you wanna do the good you wanna do the good ending? It's gonna keep going. You don't it's no never no fucking stop. no way. It's gonna end if we go to the next page. No way it doesn't end. Okay, let's go for the real girl. Okay, one ten. Real real regular eyes. Superman smashes through the door number two and grabs Lois mere seconds before the ray can strike her. Superman <laughs> Lois gasps. <laughs> How did you know which door to choose? Simple, Superman answers. The lowest robot had green eyes, but yours are definitely brown. You're talking about that brown eye. <laughs> brown eyes. She's got one brown eye. Like. <laughs> you yes, you are correct, Jessica. Well, I guess technically she has three brown eyes. <laughs> oh god, this is the worst podcast. <laughs> Uh, and now I've got to stop the toy man with you out of harm's way. That'll be no problem. Soon <laughs> Superman spots the toy man trying to make his getaway outside the factory. Not so fast, toy man. The man of steel shouts. I, I, I'm all out of toys to trap you. The toy man moans. Sorry, he moaned that. Uh, uh, I'm all out of toys to, to trap you. He moans. Toy man. Superman grins. The game is over. That's fucking awful, Superman. There's no way that's... No, okay. Toy Man, Superman grins. Toys are for little kids, and you're a man. Tricks and are for kids. you're going to prison now. Tricks. The end. So what'd you think about which way, number one, Superman, superpowers... Oh, give me a second. Superheroes, which way book number one, Superman, the man of steel by Andrew Helfer illustrated by Jose Delbo. Also, I want to say Jose Delbo did a great job. And I hope that when I put this up, uh, the pictures are in the video because I thought it was pretty neat. When did this book come out? This was 19. Sorry. I thought that was a burp coming and it wasn't. Uh, 1983. Hmm. Thoughts? Questions? I mean, for you. Uh, I mean, um, so we didn't really go through it. Uh, so. We went through it pretty quickly. No, I meant Superman's powers. Oh. So, flight. He can fly. Super strong. He runs. He's got super strength. He is, he is faster than a speeding bullet. Uh, he can leap over a tall building in a he single bound. He can't battle. fly indoors. He can't fly indoors. No, he prefers to run places indoors. Indoors. But he doesn't have a car. Ah, that's true. Uh, he I don't think he does have a car. He can't fly as Clark Kent. He has to fly as Superman. As Superman. Superman. Yeah. That's when he went to... Smallville. Yes. He had to fly as Superman to, to get, Smallville. Yes, and then change and then back change in, in an out, dirty yeah. alleyway. And so. It happens every time. I kind of feel bad that we didn't... What? I'm going to have to re-listen to the episode because I don't remember what happened to Lex Luthor at all. No, I thought everything we did with Jimmy Olsen was perfect. He ignored the hell out of him. Yeah. that would have. This is like the perfect Superman. You put him on the sidelines. We really did good as far as that goes. And then we stopped the toy man and he couldn't think of a good one-liner. And then neither could I. And I think that's where we're going to leave it for uh, this episode of Chicken and Raffles' Choose Your Own Adventure Adventures episode. I want to say four. Oh. We're up to four. We're still doing it. Check out the YouTube for the for the version with pictures in case you're listening to this in SoundCloud. Uh, on the other end of that, 
SoundCloud. You can go find the downloadable version of this until I run out of space for that. Thank you. Have a good one. You're welcome.